So, today I will discuss about the error analysis. So, whenever you will uh, measure uh, or you will do some experiments in laboratory. So, you will note it down the data as well as you will calculate the results. So, how to write data and uh, how to write result. So, that basically uh, I will discuss in last class I, I uh, give one example that if you have uh, say 200 rupees and you want to uh, equally divide uh, this 200 rupees among 3 people. So, uh, what will be the results? Okay. Uh, how much money each people will get, so that you have to find out. So, today uh, I will I will give another example. So, example 2 basically calculate the volume of a cube measuring the side or edge of the of the cube. So, this is a very simple example all of you know, but following this example actually we will learn how to write data and how to uh, calculate and finally, how to write the results. Okay. So, uh, say uh, three students are doing this experiment, student 1 he used the meter scale. So, least count of meter scale is, is uh, 1 millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter. Uh, student 2 he used a uh, slide calipers. So, least count of slide calipers is basically 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 centimeter and student 3 he used screw gauge. Least count of screw gauge is uh, uh, 0 0.01 millimeter. So, that is 0 0.001 centimeter. Okay. Now, uh, so they measured, so they have taken uh, 3 readings, 3 observations and then taking the average of these 3 observation. So, and finding out the average uh, side A length average side length that is a. So, so a equal to so this 10.5 one data, another data 10.2 and third data 10.7 divided by 3. So, if you use calculator, I have used calculator. So, this result is coming 10.4 Six 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 seven, so it can be six 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 seven. So it depends on the uh, accuracy of the of the calculator. So better calculator if it gives uh, more number of uh, digit. It, if it can display more number of digits, so it's a better calculator. So whatever. So uh, this the result is given by the calculator. But now question is whether uh, you will keep this just like this whatever calculator is given or there are some procedure how to write this uh, this result. Okay. So, this basically it one has to write 10 to the power uh, 10.5 why one should write this one why one should write this one that uh, uh, you can say here this list count is uh, 0.1. So, we can keep the maximum uh, after decimal just one, uh, one digit we can keep that is true that is true. So, uh, it depends on list count since we are taking average of the similar uh, similar kind of uh, quantity. Okay, it's uh, so. Uh, so this uh, unit of all of them are same. 
Okay. So, it is a result whatever you are getting that it is unit also same as the unit of uh, these parameters okay, this quantity. Okay. So, uh, following this that we can uh, so we can keep uh, the uh, digit last digit or decimal point which we have to decide from the list count of the instrument fine. So, similarly this uh, second student so say he got the data 10.55, 10 10.52 10 then 10.57 okay. then if I just I have taken this for uh, easier calculation just uh, I have taken like this. So, divide by 3 Okay, so, average is coming again 10.546667. So, here actually you have to write result not this one. So, you have to write 10.55 again why? So, this uh, that after decimal 2 digits are there, after decimal 2 digits are there. Okay. So, we if we know the list count, if we know the list count. So, then only you can uh, you can write this result. Okay. So, and third students also it is a uh, list count is 0 0.001 centimeter. So, after decimal 3 uh, up to 3 uh, digit we can keep. Okay. So, this is the average average uh, um, side of the of the cube. So, now volume of the cube you can find out V equal to a cube a into a into a right. So, this student will write 10.5 into 10.5 into 10.5. So, if you use calculator, so calculator will give 1157 uh, dot 6 to 5. Okay. So, this is the result given by the calculator. Okay. Similarly, so this uh, student 2, so he will get, get result from calculator 1174.241375. The third student, third student he will get result uh, from calculator basically 1175 point nine one one seven zero three eight seven five. So, exactly this my calculator was giving this one. Again the same question, again the same question that uh, that uh, uh, so uh, the volume your result you have to find out you have to write your result answer right. So, calculator is giving this uh, volume is this or uh, for second student this, third student this, right. So, uh, so but uh, this you cannot keep it as a result. Okay. So, you have to write uh, uh, the result uh, properly. So, how to write the result? How to write the result? So, here 11 Seven five point six to five eleven one one sorry five seven point six to five okay and answer I have written one one five zero so whatever calculator is given so from there I have written the result for this case or student one has written the result volume is equal to 1150. Second student written the result 1174, 1174. Third student is written the result 1175.9. Okay, point 0.9. Okay. So, now you think in this case generally from my experiments I have seen the students write, students write the result 
keeping the at least keeping the one one decimal point okay keeping one digit after decimal so in most cases uh, i have seen that student will write the result answer 1157.6 for this case they will write 1174.24 and third case they will write 1175.912 it's a 7 is there so it's 2 okay so but correct result is this whatever is written here right so why student write this just in this case keep one decimal point here 2 decimal point, here 3 decimal point, up to 3 decimal point, because uh, they will follow here. So, here list count is, is 0 0.1, so uh, after decimal 1 digits are there, here 2 digit, here 3rd digit, up to 3rd decimal point of okay, a list count. So, in result also they will write in same way and that is completely wrong. Okay. So, result will be this. So, now how result will be this. Okay. So, that is what uh, we want to we want to learn I want to describe you. Okay. So, this is just one example and this, uh, if you learn this example. So, it is applicable everywhere for any case. So, let us learn this how to how to write this result. Okay. So, so, two ways one can uh, decide, one can decide to write the correct answer. Following the rules of significant figures, one can write the correct answer and another we the calculating the maximum probable error. So, calculating maximum probable error also one can write the correct answer. So, uh, two ways actually both ways both we have to learn then only uh, you can write uh, correct answer complete answer. So, only following the rules of significant figure also you can write, but there is a uh, gap in uh, understanding or that you will you will learn when I will I will, I will describe. So, uh, so uh, we have to follow the rules of significant figures as well as we have to calculate the maximum probable error. So, let us discuss about the significant figures. So, uh, what is significant figures? What is significant figures? I have actually in experimental physics one, I have I have discussed, but I again repeat uh, because this is very important. So, what is significant figures? Actually, the number, the number of digits about the correctness of which we are sure plus the next doubtful digit are called the significant figures. So, you have a number okay, of digits, you have a number of digits. So, uh, so this uh, so first few numbers about few numbers you are sure about uh, the correctness of that uh, you are sure about uh, up to that numbers okay up to that digits in that number and after that the next digit it's uh, you are not sure so we tell is a doubtful digit there is a uncertainty in that digit okay so that also we keep so after keeping that whatever the number in that number how many digits are there so that count is basically the significant 
figures. Okay. So, rules for finding the significant figures are the followings. Okay. So, all non zero in a number in a number all non zero digits are significant figures. Okay. As for example, 5, 6, 7, 9 kg okay, kilogram. So, or kilometer or whatever. So, in this number, so all are non digit uh, non zero number. So, all are significant, okay. all digits are significant. So, so, so how many how many non zero digits are there? Four. So, for this number, so we tell this it's a, this number has four significant figures. Second rule is all zeros occurring between non-zero digits are significant figures. Okay. So, zeros occurring between two non-zero numbers are significant figures. Example 2008. So, for this number, so significant figures is 4. So, these 0 are counted as a significant figure. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this number has 4 significant figures. Third rule is all zeros to the right of the last non zero digit are not significant figures. What does it mean? All zeros to the right of the non zero digit are not significant figures. As for example, 5960. Okay. So, this 0 it is at the right of this non zero number okay, 6. So, so this 0 will not be counted as a significant figure. So, this number 5960 this number has only 3 significant figures. Fourth rule is in a digit less than 1 means in in decimal in after decimal all zeros to the right of the decimal point and to the left of a non zero non zero digit are not significant okay in a digit less than 1 means it's a decimal okay it's a less than 1 okay there will be decimal point okay and before decimal it's a, there will be nothing zero okay all zeros to the right to the right of the decimal point to the right of the decimal point but to the left of non zero digit or not significant. So, to the right of the decimal point and to the left of the non zero digit that whatever zeros are there. So, they are not significant. So, for this number 0 0.00526. So, this this number has significant figure this is only Okay. So, fifth rule is all zeros to the right of the non zero digit in the decimal part are significant. Okay. So, all zeros to the right of the of the non zero uh, digit in the decimal part okay, are significant. That means three point one seven nine zero. So, this 0 is, is significant. So, for this number the uh, uh, it has 
uh, five significant figures. Okay. So, so this is the rule how to find out the significant figure of a number. Okay, fine. So, next, next you see this uh, significant figure. So, for this I think uh, this example I will take after telling this uh, this one yes I think I should tell this one. Now, so uh, if you have a number then you can tell what is the significant figure of that number. So, that rules we have learned. Now, uh, when you will do some calculation okay, dealing with few numbers and then whatever the result you will get. Okay. So, for writing that result, so that result will have uh, again that is the result is a number. So, it will have again this uh, uh, it will have the significant figures. So, that significant figures is uh, related with the uh, original uh, terms, original numbers which we have used for calculation. Okay. So, uh, so, rule for that how to write this result after, after summation or subtraction or after multiplication, after division. Okay. So, that is the important things. So, for this actually uh, here I have written significant digit and doubtful digit. Okay. So, in a number, in a number how many digits are there? Okay. So, that we are counting as a that we are counting as a uh, significant figure for that number. Okay. So, in that number that uh, first uh, except the last one rest of the rest of the uh, digit to the uh, to the left of that number. Okay. So, they are significant digit and last one is doubtful digit and this together we tell this whatever number. So, that we tell the significant figure. Okay. So, uh, rule 1 is in all averages keep but one doubtful figures. When you will do the average of few numbers. Okay. So, uh, in the result, in the result, you will uh, you will keep you will keep uh, all all significant digit as well as one doubtful digit. Okay. So, if that whatever figure you are keeping or you got and from there you are uh, writing your result. So, if the figures following the doubtful digit, so, so you have already decided that that number okay, which have one doubtful digit. If that doubtful digit, if the figure following the doubtful one. So, after doubtful digit whatever the digit is there. So, if that that digit is greater than 5 then increase the doubtful figure by 1. If less than 5 do not increase if equal to 5 increase by 1 only if doubtful digit is odd. Okay. If doubtful digit is even, so 
you do not increase. If, if 5 is there uh, after the output digit if 5 is there. So, then whether you will increase the, the output digit or not that will depend on whether this the output digit is even or odd. Okay. So, as for example, this uh, this say 45.32 okay. this is the this is the uh, result you have written this is the number. So, in this number so this two last number digit that is basically the output digit and this other three are significant digit okay. and together together is uh, we tell the significant figure and that uh, number of digits in this uh, in this number in this quantity that is 4. Okay. So, including, including the significant figures including the significant uh, uh, sorry doubtful digits. So, we take the number and that uh, all digits in that number are counted as a significant figure. Now, uh, if 4 5.326 then you will write 4 5.33 okay, this 2 will increase by 1 because this doubtful digit is 2 and 6, 6 is following this 2. Okay. So, so is greater than 5, so it is increased by 1. Second uh, number if 4 5.3 5, okay. Now, it is 5. So, now you have to see whether your doubtful digit okay, before that 5 that digit is is uh, is even or odd. So, it is obviously even. So, it will not increase it will not be increased by 1. So, your result you have to write for uh, 5.32 right. If 45.324, so it is less than 5. Okay. So, obviously, you will not increase this doubtful digit 2 by 1. So, 45.32. Okay. So, that is what the rule 1 that is what the rule 1. So, you have done some average Okay, of few numbers and you are getting this type of you are getting this type of result after calculation. Okay. So, how you will round up how you will round up so that is the uh, uh, rule is stated in this rule 1 and rule 2 uh, after multiplying two numbers together keep in the result as many figures of the product counting from the left as there are figures in the smaller factor. Okay. So, uh, what is telling? So, after multiplying two numbers it can be three numbers four numbers also. So, here example I have taken I am multiplying say 3 into 10 to the power 5 into 0 0.1. Okay. So, or, or if you uh, just take 2 of them then also fine, but 3 of them also fine if you multiply. So, whatever the uh, numbers you are multiplying. Okay. So, among them we have to we have to see the smaller factor. So, 3 10.5 0 0.1. So, among these 3 which one is the smaller factor 0 0.1. Okay. So, this rule is telling that in your result in your result uh, in your result. So, you have to is telling that there are figures in the smaller there are significant figures means there are significant figures in the smaller factor. 
in this smaller factor what is the significant figure? So, it is a 1 significant uh, factor for this smaller factor is is uh, 1. Okay. So, it is telling that in result in result whatever result you will get in that result you have to keep you have to keep the uh, uh, the significant figures as same as the significant figure of the smaller factor. So, that means, whatever result you will get in that result result will have only one significant figure. Okay. So, here after multiplication we got the result what 3.15. So, this rule is telling that the so this 3.15 it has 3 significant figures. Okay. So, but you cannot so you cannot keep. So, you can keep only one significant figure counting from the counting from the left. Okay. So, that means if you counting from the left this one, okay, this 3. If you keep this 3, then it is the significant figure of this is 1. Okay. So, your result will be basically 3, not 3.15. So, this rule is telling after multiplication what will be the result. So, in that result, you have to the, the results will have significant figure same as the significant figure of the smaller factor. Okay. So, similarly rule 3 is that after division or after dividing one number by another number. So, you will get the result your result is quotient. Okay. So, keep in the quotient counting from the left again counting from the left again okay. as many figure as there are in the smaller of the two. Okay. Again two numbers. Okay. So, if you divide one number by another number say among these two number between these two number which one is smaller factor and what is the significant figure of that smaller factor. So, in your result in quotient okay, only you have to keep that many significant figure counting from the left. Okay. So, here I have not written example, but it is a uh, similar of this one. So, this is the rule. So, this after multiplication, after division, after basically averaging. Hmm. In averaging actually uh, I should tell one more thing is that in average, in average basically um, if you have different decimal up different uh, decimal points or different significant figure of different numbers then after averaging in result. So, uh, uh, so among this all numbers which uh, this from which you are uh, finding out the uh, average. So, uh, what is the smallest significant figure uh, of among those numbers. So, in your result also you have to keep basically uh, this uh, significant figure of the result uh, that will be as many as significant figure of this, uh, this uh, uh, smallest significant figures in among those number. Okay. So, so this so what is significant figure? how to find out the significant figure of a number and then after calculation either averaging or division or multiplication whatever the result you will get. So, how to write the result from the rules of the significant figure. So, that that is what I, uh, I discussed. Now, let us go back to the uh, our example uh, our example. So, here uh, I think uh, okay. so, 
So, uh, in our example, I have shown the results, I have shown the results beforehand, right. So, now uh, let us let us see from following the following the rules of the significant figures whether we can get that result or not. Okay. So, student 1, so he found the average of A that is 10.466667. Okay. So, significant figure that rules 1 averaging. So, what it is telling? Actually, it is telling it is whatever the number here. Okay. So, among them this which number have the smallest significant figure. So, in your result you have to keep that significant uh, in result you can keep that up to that significant figure. So, uh, so that is the meaning of this uh, rule 1 uh, it is not clear from that, uh, but that is the meaning. Uh, so, here this all number have significant figure is 3. So, there is no complication. Okay. So, in our result also this uh, significant the result uh, have to have significant figure same significant figure 3. right? So, obviously, you will write from here whatever calculator is given. So, obviously, we write this uh, 10 point uh, 4 that is doubtful actually and 6 is there. So, it will increase by 1. So, 10.5. Okay. So, as per rule there is a last one is basically doubtful one doubtful digit. Okay. So, then student 1 find the volume right. So, A is 10.5. So, A cube. So, 10.5 into 10.5 into 10.5. So, result is 11 57.625 right earlier we have seen. Okay. So, this is the result. Now, from this result, so what it is telling rules is telling multiplication. So, whatever the uh, factors here we have to find out the smaller factor. So, but here all are equal. So, fine so you can take any of them and also each of them have the significant figure 3. So, no complication. So, your result only will have 3 significant figure. Okay. So, here whatever things is there. So, uh, and that you have to take counting from the left. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 1, 5. If you keep 1, 1, 5, then 1, 1, 5 will have the uh, significant figure 3. So, this answer whether I should write 1, 1, 5? Yes, I have to write 1, 1, 5. Uh, if I write, so that will be wrong basically. So, rule is that significant figure has to be has to be 3. So, if I write this 1, 1, 5, then next 0. So, it will be close to this one. So, we have to find out following the significant uh, figure rules. Also, we have to see that how close result we can keep up this your this one. Okay. So, 11, 5, 0 if I write. So, it is not violating the significant figure rules. Also, I am this one is close close to this one. Okay. So, this is the basically um, this is the basically uh, uh, result you have to write. Okay. So, result is 1150 and whatever the significant figure. So, last one is doubtful as uh, first rule was telling that in result you have to keep the last one uh, whatever result you will keep the last one will be the uh, last significant figure uh, digit okay last digit in the 
uh, number. So, that will be the significant uh, that will be the doubtful digit. Okay. So, that means, so in this number this three significant figures. Okay. So, uh, that significant figure 3, so that third one, that third one will be the doubtful one. Okay. So, that means, in this number 1 1 is the uh, significant digit and not significant number, do not confuse with the significant digit and significant number. So, in this number, in this number significant it has significant figure is 3 and in this 3 significant figure. So, first two digit are significant digit and third one is doubtful digit. So, that means 5 is doubtful digit right. So, in this result, in this result, okay. so if it is doubtful that means, uh, 1151. So, your result could be 1150, 1150, your result could be 1151 or 1152 or 1149. Okay. So, generally uh, what will be the error, what will be the error, so that about the error, so this doubtful digit last doubtful digit 0 is not the doubtful digit, so 5 okay, last one is doubtful digit. So, this order is, is a order is a, is a second order you know, so uncertainty, so doubtful digit means a, there is a uncertainty. So, uncertainty in this result is, 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 in, uh, is in second is this number right. So, it is order of is the uh, is the what I should tell. Uh, so, result can be uh, can be uh, 1150, 1160, 1170 okay. So, uncertainty in tenth order. Okay. So, uh, so here your your uh, rules, significant rules. From that significant rules, you are writing the result. Also, you are able to identify the uncertainty in which uh, level, in which digit uncertainty is there. Okay. So, five can be four, can be six can be 3, can be 2 anything. Okay. So, uncertainty is there. So, that how the to, to know the actual uncertainty okay, to compare that one. So, that you will learn later on for that you have to find out you have to calculate the maximum probable error. Without calculating also you can tell from here, but, but to verify this statement whatever I am telling okay, uncertainty it is not plus minus 1 or something, it is the plus minus 10, 20, 30 it can be in that order okay, okay, up to 90 okay, because it is a second order. Okay. So, 10 to the power 2. Okay. So, here uh, uncertainty is in in which digit that also you can tell. So, that will verify uh, after learning the how to calculate the maximum probable error. Okay. Similarly, that second student, second student uh, here uh, this average uh, uh, A that is 10.55 right, 10.55 as we have seen earlier. So, this is again average finding out the average of that one is it, it, it will be divided by 3. Okay. So, uh, so there are 4 digit okay. it is uh, each number have 4 digit. So, in result also you have to keep 4 digit. So, that is what this result okay. and you are calculating the volume and say result is coming 1174.24 uh, 
one three seven five. Again, this uh, smallest factor all are equal factor and uh, four significant figures are there. So, in your result, you have to keep four significant figure counting from the left. So, 1174. So, your result is 1174 and last one is doubtful digit and uncertainty in this result uncertainty will be in this last digit okay, 4. So, it can be uh, it can be 4, it can be 5, it can be 6, it can be uh, 9, it can be 1. Okay. So, in in, in uh, so it is a first order, it is in basically in first order uh, uh, this error will be of first order in this case, it will be error of the second order. Okay. And third student uh, same way he calculated the average this 5 digit in result and this volume also calculated. So, it is a 5 digit okay, 5 not 5 digit 5 significant figure of this factors. Okay. Uh, so, in result also we have to keep 5 significant figure. So, 1 2 3 4 5. So, 1 1 7 5 point 1 point 9. So, that is the result again this is the doubtful digit is 0 0.9. So, error is this in decimal point. Okay. So, from here you can see that this uh, student 1 he used he used the meter scale list count is 0 0.1, second student used slide calipers uh, the list count is uh, 0 0.01 and third student use the uh, screw gauge okay, and that is 0 0.001 right. So, if we use the better and from result as I from significant figure we found that error here in this level okay, in, in second order. Okay. So, it is uh, basically 10, 20, 30, 40 up to 90 it can be okay, error. And uh, other case it is uh, uh, in first order 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9 and third case third student is in decimal point error is decimal point. Okay. So, error can be point plus minus point 1 or plus minus point 2 or plus minus point 3 etcetera. Okay. So, uh, so uh, just learning the significant figure and rules we can write we can write the uh, write the number okay when you are taking data how to write the number and after calculation that is very important generally there we do mistake most of us we do mistake okay so uh, so that we have learned how to write and in that result where is the uh, uncertainty, where is the which one is doubtful, okay. where, what is the order of the uncertainty that also we can find out. Okay. So, I will stop here, thank you for your attention.